in alpha decay, one of the three types of decays, a helium nucleus breaks away from the parent nucleus, leaving a daughter with two fewer protons and two fewer neutrons. Okay, let's see the parent is going to end up breaking into a daughter and an alpha particle. The alpha particle is the helium nucleus, okay, which is made up of four nucleons altogether, two protons, two protons and two neutrons. The nuclear reaction, here the symbol is using three uh, subscript superscripts. Usually it's sufficient to have just the two, but anyway, here we have the third one, the number of neutrons. Okay, so if we start with the parent XAZ, our result is going to be Y of A minus 4, Z minus 2, and helium, which is the alpha particle, 4, 2. Remember, the number of nucleons, the A has to be conserved. So we have A here and A minus 4 plus 4, that's A from the other side. And the charge, which is represented by Z, should be conserved as well. So we start with Z to the left, and we have Z minus 2 plus 2. So that's Z as well on the right. As an example here, we have uranium-238. That's turning into thallium-234 plus alpha. In this case, the nucleon number on the left side is 238. And on the right side is 234 plus 4 for the alpha. And for the charge number, 92 for the left and 90 from the thallium plus 2 for the alpha. One thing that's important uh, to be aware of is what we call decay series. Quite often, nuclei, especially uh, when we talk of large uh, nuclei. They don't decay to just one daughter. Usually you have what we call a decay series. They keep on decaying till they eventually reach a stable element. For example, the uranium-238 decays the alpha to thallium, but then you see here these various decays. In this particular diagram, we have red arrows for alpha decays, blue arrows for beta decay. You know, so the alpha here, since it's going to result on a reduction of the number of protons, so whenever we have an alpha decay, we move towards the left, towards y-axis. Whenever we have a beta decay, then to compensate for the beta decay we have, and we'll talk about the beta decay next, it's a move towards the right. So anyway, here we have uranium-238, and then two beta decays will get us uranium-234, and then we go to thallium-230, etc. 